fun one. Uh, still fishing. So, but I'm uh, just starting a video. Two days of fishing. Uh, one sea robin, one fluke. A whole lot of fishing, a whole lot of flies. All different things. Really good fishing. But they're just not biting. But I still have time. And uh, maybe we'll get something good. They are there. So I have a, about a... I have about a couple hours left today. Today I'm going to be doing, obviously, a little bit of fly fishing. Um, really, a little bit of breeze behind me. Uh, fairly calm out. And uh, so today I'm actually, usually I'm lining up. Today I'm lining down. So I'm going to be using a seven weight floating line up here. And expecting might be fairly cool. Well, not cool, but might be, there may be some fluke relating to the rocks, but uh, there should be some smaller bass out. Um, it might be spooky because of the clear water and sunny sky. The storm's out in the distance. I'm just getting started. There's a couple flies I want to try. And uh, I did see one mulling about, so maybe we'll get one. I'm going to try this guy out. I call this my sparrow fly. See, Robin, they're chasing, but they're not committing either. It's just a, one of those days. Let's see if he comes back. He's on a fairly. There he is. There he goes. I think there's a few more that way. But Let's see. It's gonna be getting dark, so maybe they'll be off guard. Hooked up. I'm gonna see Robin and his buddies, but. <laughs> took this here. It's a 360 fly. Get him up. We took 360. It's getting dark. Maybe it'll be some bass. Really full pattern. Maybe that's what they wanted. Okay, let me get him on his way before he jumps out of my hand. Ooh. Twist it because the fly might be too heavy. That's all right. I tell you, it's been a tough one. Um, he's definitely bass there. I've been watching him. There's actually some decent eight, I'd say eight, twelve pounders, small ones, one pounders, two pounders. Um, even the sea robins are spooky. But really, really tough day, but making it fun, that's for sure. Um, got tandem flies on. I'm going to try this for a little bit. Two flies. I think hopefully it's just a matter of time before they feed. They are certainly taking interest in whatever I grow, but they're just not committing. I'm trying slow, fast retrieves. Um, different colors, different flies. You see, uh, they pretty much so will look at whatever I'm throwing. But they're just not committing. And neither are the sea robins. I saw a fluke come up too, but he did not take either. So I have a hunch if I brought down the leader, we might get a take. Sometimes this is good too. We'll see. That wish wash sometimes throw the bass off and put them on the feed and, uh, for a moment. So I'll turn the camera back on if I hook up. If not, I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Today I'm using my Ocean City semi-automatic fly fishing reel. Um, 
really love this reel. Uh, you can really, it's uh, you can zip up, get ready, go, and uh, great for pier, great for uh, rock, moving around. Um, you can zip your line up, move, and uh, keep on fishing. That's what I'm using today. The other day I was using my regular Cortland reels. I love those too. I have my line systems on. Uh, but today I'm fishing exclusively floating line. I'm going to move. So. That's it. We're out of here. All kinds of retreats. Up current, down current, right along the side of the rocks. Fluke are definitely there. Oh, that was a bass. See, they, uh, you probably couldn't see it, but he definitely came to take a look. I think I pulled it out before he had a chance, but I don't think he was going to go for it anyway. But, uh, swinging it into the rocks, twitching it. Getting it down. I've right, been a tough day. I missed one. And a uh, few bass mulling about. But I'm um, just kind of looking at targeting Luke now. There's going to be a change of water. So hopefully there'll be a change of attitude in the fish. Maybe we'll pick one or two up. But it looks like we're going to really have to work for him. I'm working really tight in tight quarters, about 30 feet, letting it drop. Got the high water, so definitely keeping it close in around these here rocks. Maybe there's something, something hiding in ambush looking to feed. We'll see. All right. Oh, the high stick here. Luke, I did see some big bass, but they're kind of occupying the same spot, so that's a nice fluke. It's about 17, 16, somewhere in there. looking fly, huh? Yeah, we got mangled a little, so maybe we'll get a few fish. Well, anyway, that fluke, he grabbed a... It's a UV yarn fly, Clouser, actually. Chartreuse white. I'm gonna try something different. I've seen a few bass swimming around. I'm gonna try something full. I'm switching over to fluke. And uh, maybe those bass will get reactive, but now I'm looking for those summer flounder fluke. I saw one, and uh, maybe they'll be active. So maybe we'll pick one up. We'll see. Okay, so just saw that sundial, and I know I saw a fluke before. So I'm gonna work the rocks tight. So I see some, maybe some bass activity and switch over to them. But for now, let me see if we can pick out a fluke or two. We'll see. I tell you, that's how fishing goes. Uh, really, I, I can't complain. It's been tough, but definitely have the chance. And uh, that makes all the fishing great to me. Um, so I'm gonna keep on going till sunset. And, now I'm going to finish off with my... I really like how that's playing in the water. Now I think it's going to be go big or go home, so we'll see what happens. This here is one of my homemade lines. I think that's a 10 or 11 weight head cut down. I think this is the running line probably from a 5 weight. And uh, 
really like how it plays with this setup. Uh, this is my Ocean City line. Fly line. Boats are going out for the night. We got about an hour of daylight. I don't think I'm going to fish into the dark unless we get a good solid bite. No, I don't see that happening. Wow, we got a keeper. Keeper flew. Let's see if we can get him up. That is definitely a keeper fluke. That made the day. There he is. Let's see if we can get him up here. They look bigger in the water. Let's see how big he is. Man, he just ate that fly. Okay, it's on the roof. So I don't want to. I'm gonna be careful here. I almost had it, but let's see. You got it. Ooh, I'm just about getting out of here. So, for the cover, that hit me a little. So let me get him going. Let's get him back in the water. He's close. Let's see, that's 16, and that's close to three inches. Flipping, turning out. <laughs> All right. About time to take off the glasses, too. All right. All right, I'm uh, going to call it. I'm going to get out of here. Um, uh, I want to say fishing was great. A uh, couple flew. Uh, one was pretty close to a keeper, one smaller one. Missed a nice one, I'm pretty sure, and I'm sure I missed at least one or two other ones. I didn't see many sea robins today. Yesterday I saw a bunch of robins. They weren't taken, and uh, definitely those bass are scattered. They're definitely there. Um, some bigger fish, too. And uh, I don't know what they're doing, but they're not going after my flies. <laughs> it was a, definitely a good one. Really tired. Um, really worked the water. But um, that's fishing. That's, to me, this is just exciting kind of fishing. Um, even though we didn't yield what we wanted, we had fun, we got a few, and we'll get them the next time. Okay, thanks for watching.